Totally. Okay, gang. Everyone ready? Let's finish it. Akani-san and Lani are counting on us. Right. We're moving out. Still can't see the island. Perhaps, but we should still be on course. <sighs> What's up, Ichiban? That face ain't like you. No, just curious about something. Something? Nelly Island's basically Bryce's lair. Its location should be top secret. But for all the guy's secrets, that info was pretty easy to get. <laughs> Speak for yourself. As if hacking a satellite wasn't enough. Do you have any idea how many photos I had to sift through? I'll say. It might have turned up with a good bit of digging, but... Sure as hell wasn't easy. All things considered, the chance of it leaking on its own's pretty low, right? You're probably right, but still... This is Bryce we're talking about. Look, hear me out. So Bryce... Huh? Even if his secrets were in danger... Who's to say he doesn't have some kind of backup plan? What? What do you mean by back- <laughs> Who is that? <sighs> what in the hell? Is this what you meant, Kasuga? Yeah, and man, do I hate that I was right! What do you mean? I mean nobody was ever making it to that island, even if the whole damn world found out about it! You're telling me this is Bryce's? His or not, this boat is no match. We have to stop it! Damn straight! Hope you guys know how to fish! Here it comes! Well, we can't just smile at it. Whack it on the nose or something. All right. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Let's get it done. Well, I'm waiting. Brace yourself. Let's go. from those in your fish food! Indeed. If we want to win this, we'll need a good defense. Going in! For glory! Yeah! <laughs> I'm 
stop losing blood fat. Oh, we'll oh, see, I guess. Here I come. You'll see you in hell. Kidding. World's just full of surprises, huh? Nelly Island's more secure than we thought. Seems anyone who gets close enough ends up a meal. <sighs> well, no way it's Bryce's pet. I doubt even he can work that kind of magic. Really, I'll bet the island's just its chomping grounds. Sail in and your shark food. With that in mind, Nelly Island's like a puzzle. You'd never get there off location alone. Oh, you need the route. Right. If you don't have both, you're done. Gills up before you even see the shore. The island's just bait. It lures people in and springs the trap when they least expect. So Bryce was counting on this. We sailed straight into his hands. Yeah, but his trap was a bust. It'll take more than that to get rid of us, won't it? Damn right. Now, let's get this tub back on track. Oh, you guys! We're finally here. We are. I can see a dock up ahead. Probably don't want to draw attention, though. Yeah, let's find a place where we can sneak ashore. Guys, aren't you hot? <laughs> hey, these are our fighting clothes. When the going gets tough, the tough dress to kill. <laughs> right, it's just a routine of ours. No need to worry. Yeah, amen to that. <laughs> I'm ready to rumble. Well, honestly, I'm getting hot just looking at you guys. That or I'm fired up for what's ahead. Sure is peaceful here. If you didn't know any better, you'd think we were on vacation. Maybe, but Bryce is in there somewhere. It's time we drag him out. We've got three objectives here. First, we capture Bryce and shut down his whole operation. Second, figure out what's going on. We get to the bottom of this whole nuclear waste disposal business. Wait, wait, wait. Three? What's the last one? We all walk out of here alive. That's your number one priority. Don't forget it. <laughs> Just what I'd expect from you. Well, here comes our warm welcome. Yeah. Let's greet him back! Come on! <laughs>
Hmm. Okay. I know that, but... Don't forget, we're deep in enemy territory. Out here, we're almost like lambs to the slaughter. If I were them, I'd have to set up a trap. Or execute an ambush. Don't get carried. Okay, I'm up. You're in it now. Get up, Prepare yourself. <laughs> Let's get it done. <laughs> That's how it's done. supposed to get through this man Junki, you are so close except these wise guys chose both the trap and the ambush and here i thought they moved to nelly island to live out the rest of their lives in peace yeah well, i guess the real intention was nobody leaves this island alive by the look of it there's no way they set all this up just for us yeah but it reeks of bryce's handiwork sick bastard that he is Keep in mind, it's said that landmines leverage the enemy's own careless mistakes against them. All right. Means we have a shot at this as long as we stay focused. Everyone stay sharp, all right? Should I open it? Sweet!
Ready as <laughs> I'll ever be. Sure, I'll play with you. Got you now. Let's get it done! Open wide! Here I go! Oh, oh that's how you do it! Not bad! Look at me go! Guess I'm a fast learner. Should I open it? Got it! Ready for a beat down? Ready to run! Okay, I'm up.
Finally, say goodbye to this mess. <gasps> Stop! What? <laughs> Are you hurt at all, Kasuga san? <laughs> yeah, fine. You saved my life there, pal. <gasps> Junki! <sighs> hey, let me have a look. Nobody panic. I was just grazed by a piece of shrapnel. Oh, I'm so sorry. But you paid the price for my own mistake. Like I said, it only takes a single moment of carelessness. And as you can see, I got sloppy. So this was my mistake, not yours. Uh, We're finally out of the woods. We should hurry on. Are you guys okay? What? Is there a reason you're out here? A little girl? Yeah, could this kid be a Haku too? Sir, you're not hurt, are you? I'm fine, and no need for a sir. I'm not that old. Anna, what have you done? You've been warned never to step foot in the forest, child. <gasps> Mother! <sighs> Who are you people? Mother, it looks like that man got hurt. 
You're injured. And I did hear a loud noise just now. Did something happen out there? Hey, what's your gut saying, Kasuga? She seems genuinely caught off guard. I think so, too. But are there really people on this island who aren't under Bryce's control? Wouldn't rule out the possibility. If you folks are injured, you definitely need treatment. Please, follow me. <clears throat> Our journey's far from over. So let's get you fixed up now, Junki. Hey, Kasuga-san! All things considered, it's better that we take the risk. Ah! Right. But we can never be too careful. Everyone, stay vigilant. Helena, who are these strangers? I'm not sure, but it seems they were injured in the forest. Oh, what a shame. Go on and use the shed. The first aid kit should be in there. Thank you, Elder. Sorry to intrude. We're really grateful here. To lend a helping hand in a time of need is to live by Madame Nelle's teachings. Look, look! I found some strangers lost in the forest! That's the shed over there, right? Let's go. I'm feeling great! Whew. Finally got a chance to breathe. Yeah. We should rest while we have the chance. Should I open it? Sweet! Oh yeah! Feeling... Groovy! Should I open it? Got it! Let me out! All right, that ought to fix you up. Sorry for the trouble. I owe you one. Yeah, best not overstay our welcome. Let's get moving. You said it. Hey, does anyone smell something burning? Huh? Yeah. What's it coming from? Shit, look! It won't budge! <gasps> Are you serious? <coughs> Guys, it's getting hot in here! Fucking open! Unclean what? trespassers of this sacred land! May Madame Nelle forgive you 
as your bones are reduced to cinders! <coughs> so much for the warm welcome. They were gonna roast us to death all along! Damn it! Open up! At this rate, we'll suffocate before the flames even reach us. Everyone! We'll kick it down together! On the count of three! One, two, three! <laughs> Ichiban! They're coming! <sighs> Utter fools. You've squandered the chance to receive divine salvation! Look, no offense, man, but tell your goddess we're taking a rain check! You ready? Yeah! Let us purge the wicked from this earth! Don't make a fool of me! Let's do it! Okay, I'm up. Let's weaken this. Prepare yourself! <laughs> That's enough! We want Bryce! Tell us where your shoddy sage is hiding! He headed for... the training grounds beyond. That was the last we saw of him. So that was the training grounds we saw. Well, looks like we were on the right track after all. <laughs> Scamper around all you like. Your sins will catch up with you in the end. Thanks for the vote of confidence. Time to go, guys. Hold up, Ichiban. What's wrong? Aren't we forgetting someone? Spit it out. Where's Wangto's son? Huh? Chichan. Don't bother playing dumb. We already know you're hiding him here. <sighs> or would you rather us take turns making you scream? Okay, I get it. I get it! As you said, the boy has been kept here with us. Fantastic. Then, would you kindly show us the way? <gasps> he is merely asleep. Though he is imprisoned, he is still well respected. 
You're lucky he's unharmed. But you definitely wouldn't be. I've only seen the kid in passing. But this is him, right? Yeah, no doubt. You can expect us back here as soon as we're done with your boss. So you better crank up the quality of his care till we return. If anything happens to him, guess what happens to you. <clears throat> Understood. I'm impressed, Chitose-san. But how did you know the boy would be here? That's the thing. I didn't. I was bluffing. How the heck did you keep a straight face? Well, I was acting on more than just a hunch. I figured, with what happened to Wong, Bryce was forced to think about the future of Ganja. And from his perspective, who better to appoint as leader than Wong's own son? Right. Bryce could easily set the kid up as his successor, then send in one of his own goons as his assistant. That lunatic was looking to establish his very own puppet regime. Bet you brainwashing the kid was the first thing on his list. In that case, Bryce needs him alive. Otherwise, he'd have to start from scratch. So yeah, I figured he might want to keep the kid locked up. A place like this is perfect. I get you. It's just... It's gonna be hard breaking the news about his dad. Yeah. All we can do right now is put a stop to this madness. And the sooner the better. I agree. And let's keep moving. To the training grounds! doing god's sake and these guys are on the same side huh i've actually heard about this sort of thing there are cults that force their disciples to perform ritual murder as a test of faith often it's among their own community whoever dies whoever kills none are held accountable and the survivors are willingly cut off from the world thus binding them to their beliefs all the more Super fucked up. You there! Who dares disturb our training? Glad you finally noticed. Look at what you're doing! Hasn't it occurred to you you're a team? The team's always supposed to look out for each other. So why? As if an outsider could grasp the nobility of our vocation. Behold! The devils that wish to taint our faith. See them well. Their heresy shall not go unpunished. This is your final trial before you approach divinity. Exterminate these wretches. So, your trials are done. Time to wake your asses up. Hope you're ready to stop. Right, time to throw down. All right, let's do it. You better go. Come on, you're a good scare. Going in. Come here. Go. Sure, I'll play with you. Okay. <laughs> Let's go! Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 
Since any hostiles in the vicinity. All right. This calls for a break. We'll keep at it once we catch our breath. Should I open it? Sweet. said back there. I find that rather ominous. But all that crap about a guardian or whatever? Yes. It was a little too easy to get him to lead us here. I don't sense any enemies nearby. That's exactly what's so creepy about all this. Whoa! Is this an earthquake? Well, there's a volcano nearby. Maybe it's erupting? Ugh. Hey, hey, guys? What's that? Monster, what is up with this island? Don't tell him what it can do either. Stay sharp, guys. Prepare yourself. Don't look down now. You want to go? You're in it now. <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Got you now. Uh, yeah! <laughs> oh, did you expect 
tentacle. See how they're moving? Yeah, Tommy, I'm sure that's it. All right, let's do it. Learner. Excellent. Drinks later. Should I open it?
she's still a threat. How far down do we gotta go? My ears are starting to ring. Must be a pretty deep cavern to be able to fit in all the waste. Oh, we here? Prepare to be executed in the name of Madame Nele! I guess we should have seen this coming. Look alive, guys! I'll turn you into a big thing! Right, time to throw down! Okay, I'm up. Let's do this! <laughs> let's go, let's go! Let's get it done! Okay. We can't stop for too long. But we should take a break for now. Yeah. Let's make sure we're ready to tackle what's ahead. Nuclear waste? Seems to be. For all that talk, I expected much more than a cave out at sea. <sighs> to think they made it sound so official. Hell, they're just stacking crap everywhere. And some of it's rusting. Disposal facility, my ass. This place is a dump. A real crock of shit. If they keep this up, the whole island, even the surrounding ocean, is screwed. <sighs> Greetings, Kasuga. Bryce! Long time no see. Unfortunately, I'm afraid I can't welcome you here. This place is holy ground meant only for chosen Haku. None but they may enter. Your presence is a stain upon the land. Guess we can't argue with you there. Once we drag your ass to jail, we'll be sure to make amends. For now, we got work to do. A little waste disposal of our own. You hear that? For the sake of Polycana, we're taking you down! Spoken by a meddlesome outsider. Surely you recognize the arrogance in that. Oh no. I got a good idea of how you run things. You're nothing but a damn crook. You spit on people's faith like it's a sport! And it's not just money, is it? Taking lies too. Rice. I'm here for Takara. Had he died peacefully, who knows? Maybe then I might have let it go. But no, that's not what happened. Not even close. You used his faith for all it was worth and just to toss his life away. He had a family, a wife, and kid, and everything. Bastard! You used him! Ah, so one of your friends was a Haku, was he? Well, well... Yes, that is unfortunate. This Takada of yours... It's a shame he lacked the faith needed to make a difference. What? To a Haku, giving your life for Palakana is the highest of honors. But it would seem your friend was at odds with this. A true Haku wouldn't think twice. As Palakana's sage, I must say I'm disappointed. You son of a- Tell me. I know. I'll hold back for now. When Akane-san fled Japan and ran off to Hawaii, it was your group that gave her shelter. 
Polycana gave her peace of mind. In a way, I feel like I owe them for that. And what's more, it's people took care of me, too. Same. I'd probably have starved to death if not for them. For all they've done, we felt someone should return the favor. That means taking it back from you. Dear me, you really don't understand how faith works, do you? You claim I'm abusing the faithful. But is Palakana truly all that different with me in charge? Believers are asked to trust in some imaginary god, then pushed to do charity work and offer relief. Seems to me the fault lies with them. Yeah. What? Am I wrong to think so? They choose to die for their salvation. The problem here is entirely their own. Maybe they do choose it for themselves. But it's no reason not to knock your ass out! Couldn't agree more. You know, I thought I was over this place. And my love for the islands was up and gone. But after seeing all this, I'm more than ready to defend them. <laughs> Something I don't get. How's a rat like you do all this? You're seriously the sage? I must say I'm hurt. As a matter of fact, I was appointed the title by my predecessor. That must have been 70 years ago now. Wait, what? How old is this guy? Back then, Palakana, by and large, was steeped in charity work, thanks to the Sage and his wife. It was, perhaps, the least religious the group had ever been, you might say. Nevertheless, the Order had been gaining more and more wealth, even before Hawaii was annexed into the States. <laughs> they seemed a valuable asset. The Mafia thought so, at least. Uh, so that's the hole you crawled out of. Believe it or not, the two groups aren't so different. An absolute hierarchy built off principle, creed, or a set of rules. Now, what is that? A religious organization or a mob family? Tell me, Kasuga, what would you call it? I'd call that twisting your words. Yes. Maybe so. But regardless of opinion, my entry into Palakana went rather smoothly. It was all too familiar, you see. I knew quite well how to conduct myself, especially in those kinds of groups. It took time to garner trust, and my ascendance to Sage certainly didn't happen on its own. Still, things went as planned in the end. So what was the goal? Assume power and rake in all of Polycana's money? <laughs> the money was an option, yes. But I only had one goal in mind. This sacred land. Nele Island would be mine. Huh? <gasps> An island in the middle of the Pacific, almost entirely cut off from the outside world. Furthermore, it's owned and operated by Palikana. Religious freedoms protect this place by law, including its secrets. It's a haven. Secure, secluded, one of a kind. The ultimate black box at my disposal. So what? You turn the place into a sludge dump? The Waste Disposal Project is only the beginning. It's a big world out there, and everyone's got something to hide, something to keep from prying eyes. And the more a country depends on you, the more you need hidden away. Things, people, information, possibilities abound. As long as this island exists, I'll take out whatever trash comes my way. Oh, so that's it. Ebina learned his little scheme from you. Very perceptive. As business partners, it was necessary to provide Ebina with some incentive. 
And with knowledge of the world's deepest, darkest secrets, we gain an inseparable connection to those in power. You mean you'll have dirt on them? Let's not dance around it. When that day comes, even my title as Overseer will seem trivial. I'll have global influence by then. Would that not, in a sense, make me a god? A god with his head up his ass, maybe. <laughs> well, I'm sure by now you see the value in this place, yes? Not all do. It takes a sense of ambition. Something he didn't have. He? The island's previous owner, the Sage, before me. I had climbed my way up the ladder. My rise to Sage was all but certain. Guaranteed. That charity-obsessed fool, he nearly ruined everything I'd worked for. <sighs> Melee Island was to be sold. The proceeds put toward further volunteer work. What a waste it would have been. Worse, the deal was well in the works by then. I'd intended to take over as quietly as I first appeared. But no island meant all of this would have been for nothing. Which is why... I had no choice but to take matters into my own hands. Pity it had to end so tragically. No matter. I'm sure their precious Nelly embraced them with open arms. <sighs> You know, I'll bet you just love it. Swindling people for all they've got. They were one step ahead, weren't they? That fake pendant of yours can attest to that. But dear, I did want to talk about Bryce. They'd already had you pegged for the snake you are. That's why the previous sage left a will. You're the last person he wanted in charge. You and that necklace are two of a kind couple of cheap imitations. And if that wasn't enough, you tried to kill a kid. An innocent little girl. You think you're on the path to godhood? You're a false idol at best. The girl had to go. Too much risk. However, it wouldn't have mattered either way. Even now, Regardless of what truths about me come to light, I have plenty of followers who will remain loyal. Yeah, right. You think people would stick around with a screwball like you? It's why you rolled out every gang in Hawaii. You are getting desperate. And in the end, it turned around and bit you in the ass. Bryce, the one who really exposed all your BS was you. Though... You did have help. All those years, some people in Polykana, despite you, actually cared. Like how Akane-san cared for Lottie. Huh. I'd say that's more than enough talk, wouldn't you? To tread upon these sacred grounds. To interfere in the affairs of the Divine. The Goddess Nele will not take kindly. <laughs> Seems we've all said what we can at this point. A good punch ought to shut him up. Yeah, make it too. Sounds good. <laughs> Bryce, this ends now! <laughs> Have it your way. Nelly's divine wrath awaits. Dear children, the time for our crusade is now! Prepare yourself! Get 
Very good. Oh. Let's go! Force is enough to beat me! Ready as I'll ever be. Got you now. Little sipper for you? Strong thing I'm gonna view. And pick your time. Very Ready when you are. Open one! We need your guidance! Time to end this little charade. Useless curse! Give up this feeble struggle and die! Surprise! <laughs>
to the depths of the earth. All right, let's do it. the next level. Nice. It's over, Bryce. We're gonna show the whole world the truth about your little disposal area. 
that it's nothing but a dump. <laughs> Do you really believe that's enough? As if it would make all this go away? Huh? This whole operation involves countless other countries, all of which produce nuclear waste. A scandal here could collapse an entire government. You think any of them would allow that to happen? <laughs> Shall I spell it out for you? Those countries need me. Every last one of them is on my side. <sighs> so what? We came all this way for nothing? Sorry to break it to you, but you might want to recount on that. Huh? Chichan? Rise and shine, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, wait, I guess it's still nighttime back in Japan, huh? Sorry for the surprise stream. Tatara Channel coming at ya. That's right, go out and spread the word. I'm here live and in person. Now then, you guys getting all this? Yep, straight up drum city over here. And guess what? This little work of art's right here in Hawaii. That's not all, it's Bleach Japan's big project. You know, the one everyone's talking about? That's right, I'm smack dab in the middle of their secret waste disposal site. Weren't you listening? You can spread this all over the net. But as long as I have backers, they'll just keep wiping it away. Let's see. According to Ebina of Bleach Japan, the waste disposal process was to use former Yakuza under some very strict safety protocols now. Do I have all that right? But what's this? This doesn't look very safe, does it? Well, I'm no expert, but it looks like a dingy old cave, and one that's not even that far down below the surface. You mean all this hazardous waste has just been sitting down here? So much for rules and regulations. And wait! Could it be? It is! Did everyone watch the news? That Hawaiian volunteer group was helping out. Oh, what was the name? Polykana, I think it was. And wow, we've got their sage right here! Excuse me, you're Bryce, right? If you're here, then this place is legit. Yeah, wow, this really is the waste disposal site everyone's been so obsessed with. Care to explain what's going on here? Ah, hush hush, I see. We've got a professional here. All right, maybe someone else can help shed some light on this. What? Hello? Can you hear me okay? Yes. Loud and clear. Who's that? Wonderful. And may I ask your name, sir? Indeed. This is Kazunari Fujinomiya. I'm chairman of the Fujinomiya Group. What? Fujinomiya? That's Chichan's... Oh, wow! Chairman of the Fujinomiya Group. You're a pretty big deal in Japan's business world, huh? On behalf of us all, thank you for joining us. Right, Fujinomiya-san. My reason for calling you today is simple. Leech Japan's Waste Project. I'm told the Fujinomiya Group is a major contributor. Do I have that right? Correct. Fujinomiya Shipping, a subsidiary of our group, handles the delivery of nuclear waste for this very project. Ah, I see. Well then, Fujinomiya-san, would you care to comment? Any thoughts about what you're seeing right now? <sighs> Honestly, I find it all difficult to believe. However, if this is the truth, then we will take the proper actions where need be. As you're also a key member in this, will you accept responsibility? Do you believe that's fair? Whoa, Chichan. To that end, yes. I believe so. When the time comes, I intend to account for my actions. And will you hold yourself to those words? Of course. Well, thank you very much. Now, Bryce. You heard what the Fujinomiya chairman said, didn't you? I mean, a declaration like that's gotta sting. 
It'd take a miracle to cover all that up, huh? <laughs> Chitose is good, man. All those secrets and she cornered Bryce just like that. She really stuck her neck out, too. <sighs> well, I guess I just wanted to help out. Before we left Japan, I went back to my family. I told them everything that happened. We got in a huge fight, and I asked if money was really all that mattered. And bingo, here we are. Chichan. Hey, don't look at me like that. There's still one more thing I've got to do, after all. What? Yep, they can see me. Wait, Chichana. This next part's pretty important. You see, I've got one last matter of business to tend to. And that is... ...to formally address the mistakes I've made on this channel. Huh. Tatara Channel's a lie. I, Chitose Fujinomiya, knowingly spread false information to the public. Information about otherwise innocent people. In doing so, I deliberately manipulated how they were seen. I was forced to do this under the looming threat that my identity would be exposed. However, that's no excuse. Fact is, I still made those choices. To those I've wronged, to everyone, I'd like to apologize for what I've done, for all I've ruined. Truly, I am deeply sorry. Thank you, Ichiban. Remember what you said? That I could pack up and go if I wanted? You saying that was just what I needed to hear. Thanks to you, I finally found the courage to face things head on. I'm done running. From both my family and myself. You're really something, Shijan. <laughs> Am I? <laughs> Bryce, you've got a lot to answer for. Don't try and snake your way out now. <laughs> fools. Huh? I said, you're all fools. You think you've gone and done some great noble deed. Think again. Despite what you tell yourselves, nearly every country on Earth sought to make this happen. Of course, that includes Japan as well. We would purge the world of its nuclear waste, and all at the expense of one remote little island. Everyone was chasing after the same impossible dream. I'm simply the one who caught it. Call it a... necessary evil. And you say we're acting noble? You may have stopped me here, but I won't let it trouble me, not one bit. You're a covetous little nest of ants, clasping for power. To hell with the risks, so long as you're not the ones held responsible. <laughs> Let's see what happens. See how you face a world without my influence. Will it call you to embrace the very same evils I did? How I wonder. Don't you worry, Bryce. People aren't as weak as you say. No matter how tough things might get, rest assured. They can always find a way through. <laughs> I'm not so sure. If only I could watch from on high. Alas. It seems I'll have to consent to my view through the flames below. What? <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Say, you've got nowhere else to run. I'm sending you to the police with a nice big ribbon. I'd say that's mission accomplished. Hey, Kasuga. No. We're not out just yet. Okay. I'd say that's our cue. Yeah. For all they did. For all Chitose sacrificed. We need to do our job. Definitely. Makes me feel like we gotta, especially after seeing it for ourselves. Oh yeah. I got a real fire burning now. I'll say. Our boy Ichiban sure knows how to pull it off, huh? Well, why are you looking at me? <laughs> Ah, uh, no reason. <laughs> Sounds like we're ready. Fine. Just so long as we don't get cocky. Sure thing. Time to roll, Kiryu-san. Yeah. Got it. Smells like something good's cooking, Chief. I've got nothing up your alley today. Hard enough just to get a meal around here. I understand, but I'm also confident you'll pull through. You know I pay well for even the tiniest morsel. <laughs> that, I never doubted. This homeless camp is actually part of Sunhee's information network. They call that man their chief. And his friends all over town are always coming to him with new stories. Security cams can't catch everything. That's why you can't underestimate word of mouth. Sorry for keeping you. We owe the chief a lot, so I just wanted to check in on him. No worries. Come on, let's go, Kiryu-san. Hey, hold on there, psycho. Hmm? Is something the matter, Chief? The man's called Suzuki-san, no? You ought to be more careful. R right Of course. <sighs> it's tiring. Leading a life without being seen. This place is full of folks walking that same path. Your hardships remind me of my own. Tai Chi, Suzuki-san. <sighs> Seems we both have it rough, don't we? <laughs> well, I'm sure it's rougher on you. I hear you were once quite infamous. Unlike myself, nobody ever cared whether I lived or died. I'm sure that's not true. Believe me, it is. And if you need convincing, I've got plenty of past left untold. Uh, 
Uh, sorry, Chief, but Kiri- uh, Suzuki-san might be a little busy right now. That's so. Then I won't hold you here any longer. <laughs> well, maybe I shouldn't have done that. I just didn't know how long he might have kept us. That was rather odd, though. Wonder what's gotten into him. What do you mean? The people here never talk about themselves, especially their past. Even I don't know the Chief's background. Considering he's the one who started the conversation, maybe he feels a connection with you, Kiryu-san. Hmm. We both live in the shadows, after all. Bring the pain. Hmm. 